Fortunately, you don't. <laughs> I almost believed you. Um, <clears throat> well, thank you very, very much for uh, the invitation. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here in a, in a rather unique place and uh, to be uh, able to say a few words about uh, when, what one can do with mathematics. And not only, okay. And not only I, but many, many, many people uh, around me uh, and so on. Um, I was told that Picard Basque is running this uh, series of conferences and that until my talk, it has been a great success. <laughs> you know, all series <laughs> have an end. <laughs> um, to... I, I'm pretty sure that some of you in the audience are a little bit worried about attending a lecture by a mathematician, right? And I have to say that very often <laughs> I share those reserves when I have to attend some mathematician's lectures, so I, I know the feeling. Um, <clears throat> and I have to say also that uh, very often, and this will be a, a transition towards what I want to explain, uh, very often when, you know, socially or in a plane or in a train, people ask me, what are you doing? Especially when they see me writing frenetically strange symbols, drawing strange pictures and so on. And, you know, very often I answer in an almost apologetic way. Well, you know, I'm a mathematician, <laughs> lowering the voice. <laughs> Most of the time, people uh, answer by saying, oh. <laughs> Immediately followed, most of the time, followed uh, by uh, the, the, the comments, I never understood anything in mathematics. And uh, sometimes, it's a little rarer, people say, oh, I always loved mathematics. But nothing in between. <laughs> Never I heard someone said, well, mathematics, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and um, <clears throat> I have to say that, you know, continuing the conversation after such reactions is sometimes a little bit difficult. So my favorite answer after those comments is neither do I, <laughs> in both cases. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and sometimes people are, uh, insist and say, and ask you, but uh, you do mathematics, why? Okay, why is the, why, what is the use of mathematics? Or uh, another frequent question is, but the, is there anything to be discovered in mathematics nowadays? And those are very serious questions, and uh, I guess that through a few examples uh, tonight, uh, you will have some uh, uh, s some very partial answers, which are just limited to what I know or what I pretend to understand. Ah, understanding. Another very vague word. Um, <clears throat> well, maybe I should uh, uh, recall some quote by a Russian writer that said once in the 19th century that only French people can explain what they don't understand. <laughs> so, uh, not understanding is easy for me. <laughs> Explaining, you will be the judge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although I have to also remind you another, another quote by, a by Goethe, uh, uh, saying that uh, uh, French people are like mathematicians. Whenever you tell them something, they immediately translate it in their language, and it becomes incomprehensible. Okay, so still I will uh, discuss some aspects of mathematics, just uh, some particular aspects which uh, will, I s I'll try to do so I, I, at least, shed some light on the use of mathematics and of mathematical tools uh, in real life problems. So I will start with lots of examples of applications I will even mention even more uh, by just, you know, orally, 
And I will just show you, uh, I will just show you some, uh, some movies and some photographs. And then I will try to explain what's behind that. A few keywords. You mentioned a, a title, since indeed there is a title, which is something about models. And before that, there is analysis. Analysis is a word that we can use in everyday language and that we, in mathematics, has, of course, a very specific meaning. Uh, but still, uh, what we do in mathematics is not so different from the usual word uh, uh, analysis as it can be used by everybody. So to analyze a problem. And so analysis, models, and simulations. And in fact, I'm going to uh, go in the presentation exactly the reverse way. I'll begin with simulations, which most of the time are pictures, cartoons, movies, videotapes. Then I will discuss briefly what we mean by models. And then I will explain very quickly at the end why we may need some analysis. Of course, uh, I'm a great movie fan. So, <clears throat> and when I, mm, I, I gave this title, I was thinking of the title of a movie that got the <laughs> good. <laughs> Just with videotapes, you guessed, right? <laughs> um, a, a movie that got the uh, Palme d'Or au Festival de Cannes. Uh, uh, that was the first movie of an, a young American, but at that time, young. American director, and the end was about vi videotapes. And models are just crude approximations, simplification, they are lies. And now you understand what analysis means to me. <laughs> I'm a French analyst, beware. <laughs>